Welcome back to Kathy Rain. In the last episode, we did some shenanigans with Eileen's computer, and I think we never took our printouts. There they are. <laughs> Let's take I'll them real quick. I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. No! Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. What? Oh, the church! That logo at the top looks familiar. Haven't I seen something similar to it today? Oh! Can we look at that? That logo at the top... No. Hmm. Okay. So the church is involved. Of course. It's a bright red flower of some kind. Could... Oh, sorry. It's a bright red flower of some kind. Could be a long shot, but I've never seen a flower like that. Maybe finding out more about where it grows could narrow down where the picture was taken. Uh-huh. A printed picture of the strange smoky lights. It appears to have been taken somewhere in Conwell Woods. Now that I look at them, they remind me of something I picked up yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So, now we needed a florist to find out what flower that is. <laughs> Or maybe not. Let's talk to E. Hey, E, got a sec? Sure thing, Kathy. What's up? Could we show her the picture? What do you think about this flower? It's beautiful. What kind of flower is no, it? No, she doesn't know. No idea. That's what I'm trying to find out. I got a botany book around here somewhere. Oh, nice. I could look it up later. Sure, that would be great, E. Thanks. Awesome. Anytime. Hey, E, check this out. Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will-o'-the-wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now, that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. She believes in absolutely everything? <laughs> yeah. Isn't your Christian duty to consider people like her to be heathens? <laughs> Isn't that the same meadow who had an intimate relationship with the tree outside her door? <laughs> Did she? Isn't that the same meadow who had an intimate relationship with the tree outside her dorm? Oh, come on. That was just a phase. <laughs> Trust me, I've been through every phase in the book. That definitely isn't one of them. <laughs> Do we show her the floppy disks? I don't Dave think... Dave really came through for me. The software on this thing is amazing. Yeah, he's a real whiz. I mean, he just downloaded it. Dave really came admin. through for me. The software on this thing is amazing. Yeah, he's oh. a real whiz. It's the same. He didn't even hack anything. We gave him the password. I don't need to show her that. <laughs> A penny. I found this at my grandparents' place. Oh, wait. You stole money from your grandma? Jesus, no. It's a sentimental thing. Me and grandpa had this game with pennies when I was a kid. Oh, so you kept the coin to remember the times? <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, shut up. I don't need to show her that. I found this old picture of Grandpa at my grandparents' place. That's nice. He looks really happy there. Yep. I wonder what made him leave the Air Force. He was in a war, you know? That kind of thing tends to scar people for life. I suppose. I don't need to show her that. Good. I don't need to show her that. Oh, she maybe knows something about the church. Have a look at church. this brochure, eh? Yeah, what about it? Notice anything out of the ordinary? Yeah. The logo looks a bit unusual with the three orb thingies. Normally, the Holy Trinity is symbolized by three overlapping circles or a triangle-shaped knot. This is different from that. Huh. Interesting. So, they actually worship the, the Will of the Wisp? I don't need to woods? show her that. Okay. Does she want to have a smoke? Me, I've tried. <laughs> he is the epitome of purity. No tobacco, no fast food, no alcohol. She basically rejects everything awesome. Look what I got her. last week, E. 
Wow, is, is that thing even, you know, legal? I have no idea. Sometimes I really worry about you, Kathy. We can well, separate. your days of worrying are over. We're protected by a hundred thousand volts now. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> okay, let's Any talk. Any ideas about what happened to my grandfather in 81? Beats me. Maybe he found what he was looking for. Or it found him. Did you just quote a tagline from one of those cheesy horror novels? Maybe. <laughs> I wonder what was so special about Lily Myers. Well, besides her being a talented artist who drowned herself in a lake. I bet there's some secret about her art. Let's hope Charles Wade has some answers. What do you think of this cocky person? Well, uh, the nickname makes me think of, uh, you know, boy parts. <laughs> and you call yourself a Christian. <laughs> so, what's your take on this Charles Wade? I'm not sure. He sounded like a super nice guy on that tape, but media says that he's a ruthless businessman. The tape is over two decades old. Maybe he's changed. Either that or he is very different in his private life. Hard to know without actually seeing him. What do you think of Lily Meyer's art? I actually looked her up this morning and I couldn't find any records of her being recognized as an artist. Yeah, I doubt there was ever a chance for that to happen. Wade bought everything shortly after she died. I only got a chance to see this one picture. It wasn't all that bad, but nothing breathtaking. Well, maybe there's more to her art than meets the eye. Something Wade knew, and we're missing. Yeah, maybe. I mean, wasn't she... I should get back to the investigation. Wasn't okay, she okay. still a teenager? So, no wonder there's no trace of her. Okay. Now what do we do? Uh, how do we meet Mr. Wade, actually? I think we can just call back his daughter, maybe? Let's try. Although, I want to talk to him and not to her, right? Nah, the trap is already set. Hopefully she'll call Ah, right, she calls back. But, do we not just wait? Until she calls? Nah, I have nowhere I need to go right now. So this, we can combine with that. Wow, the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. I might have to visit them after all. Church of the Holy Trinity. Things are shaping up. I'm starting to get some good leads on the picture of the three lights. Cool. Is there anything I can help with? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. <laughs> <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken. I know exactly where to start. Good. I'm going to get some food now before I pass out. Okie dokie, I'll grab my books and get cracking. All right, see you in a bit. Hey. Hey. So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosia Falcus. I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The Red Scythe is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. My thoughts exactly. Here you go. The nature reserve is marked out on this map. Jeez, you've been busy. Well, you know, beats homework. Meh. Amen to that. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help! So what- Oh, nice. Oh, hang on. I'll go get that. Okie dokie. But the flower will be gone by now. I mean, it's years ago. It will not grow in the same place for ten years, will it? 
Hello? This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. Speaking. Miss Rain, uh, this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. <laughs> Apology accepted. You can start by answering a few questions. Very well. Huh. Will she answer everything? But why do we talk to her at all? I want to talk to Charles. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Oh, no matter, you were so little then. Erica, I have to ask, why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that. Neither alive nor dead. Hmm. What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? <laughs> Mr. Wade. My father is a great man. He has so many ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Oh, yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. The community clinic in the middle of town? Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. Wait, do we know what kind of sickness he has? Huh. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. Hmm. What do you know about Lily Myers' art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I couldn't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that or... Oh, he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. They seem like a typical church to me. Hmm. That's it? I cannot show her anything because we are on the phone so yeah okay that's all i needed very well feel free to call back if you have any more questions i hope she never asks all right. her father Wade about is that in conwell springs he's being treated in the clinic uh oh we go there and bother him <laughs> I guess that was so. erica wade her father is being treated at the clinic in conwell springs being treated he's sick looks that way Small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you are returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. 
I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. You're off your game today. Is everything all right? Oh, shut up. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Oh, up late, thinking about your grandpa and everything? Not just that, I keep having this bad dream. Well, it's not exactly a dream, it's something that actually happened. Oh? What is it? I'm not sure I should tell you. You can trust me. Whatever it is, I promise I won't judge. Well, it's your funeral. So, uh, I yeah, used to be okay. 16. What I thought. And also pregnant. <laughs> oh no, I broke it. We need an emergency, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I mean, we kind of need to make a light of it because we know that she won't take it well because of her beliefs. Hmm. Oh no, I broke it. Um, please go on. Well, seeing as how I don't actually have a five-year-old, you can probably put two and two together. You had an abortion. Sure did. Major pain in the ass too, but hey, couldn't let that pregnancy go untreated. <sighs> I'm glad you're telling me, but I really wish you hadn't done that, Kathy. Who was the, um, you know, the... <laughs> the donor. Oh, gosh. The guy who knocked me up. Why would she tell all that to her? I mean, they do seem pretty close. Could probably pick out his Johnson in a lineup, though. The guy who knocked me up. Guy who knocked me up? Single motherhood waiting to happen. Back then, I couldn't cook anything but microwave food, and I'd wretch if I so much as walked past one trash can with smelly diapers in it. That kid would have been raised by my mother. I'd rather die than put another child through that. I respect your decision, but you know how I feel about this. That guy up there, he's pro-life. And I'm with him. He's not. That's the thing. I get that. I gotta he say, killed a lot more really, children really cool about than this you could eat. ever imagine. I was expecting you to clutch your cross, flip the table, and storm off or something. I'm not a walking stereotype, you know. Says the red-headed nerd with the glasses. You, you kinda are. Ha ha. But Kathy, if you keep having that nightmare, perhaps you should talk to somebody about it. Maybe. But I doubt obsessing over it is very healthy either. Your turn, E. Oh, fine. Hmm. Oh! I play apricot, orange. Yay, bingo. 67 points. Well, ain't that fucking peachy. At least it's not sour grapes. Ha, <laughs> touche. I wonder where American Christians got that idea from with the anti-abortion pro-life thing, because their God obviously isn't, and it's not in the Bible. Oh, where are we now? A tainted one approaches. Is it Dang. time? Yes, a fire that burns so bright, it is almost unbearable to see. Indeed, it seems the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Shall we sculpt some flesh friends, then? What? 
Very well. I will attend to the threshold. What? <laughs> Was that a dream too? September 27th, day 3. That was crazy. Good morning, sunshine. Oh gosh. Please tell me I dreamt all those Scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. Rub it in, why don't you? I'll just go strangle myself now. Oh you, don't be a sore loser. So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. While I'm at it, I'm gonna check out the church and the nature reserve. Okie dokie, what can I do to help? Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great, thanks E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right, yeah. New location edit. Awesome. I'll do. Red Scythe. It's a photocopy of a book page with information about the Red Scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the Red Scythe is the smell, which is familiar to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in concentrated amounts. Uh-huh. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. Oh, a new very expensive drug idea. <laughs> oh, can we just... It's the nature reserve. Ah, no, we can't just travel there. Where the smoky lights were photographed. Okay. A prominent clifftop near the highway. Likely the most popular tourist spot in the area. Conwell Woods. What were you doing out there, Grandpa? So there's the cabin. Conwell Woods. Oh. Conwell Lake. Where Lily Myers met her demise. Oh, here. Ah, there's the cabin. Yeah, okay. Not there. It's a big lake. That looks like the town area itself. One of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S. Grandpa was stationed there during the war. Oh, it's close. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee stain. That's it, right? The highway. Route 70, leading back to the city. Okay. Awesome. She's using her, right? And she's just playing along. For goodwill. We lost... We lost one floppy disk? Are you kidding me? And a lot of other things. Dang it. Glad I showed everything to her. Well, let's go, shall we? All right, I'm off. Peace out, E. Okie dokie. Good luck and see you later. Okay, what do we have? These are the church orbs. Nature reserve and clinic. Do we have a new bike? No! When do we get a new bike? <laughs> How long is that game? Um, let's... Should we go to church first? Or to the clinic first? Where could we gain information that we later on could ask people about? I mean everywhere, right? So let's go to the church. So that we can talk to Mr. Wade about the church too. Hello, Father. Because there seems to be a connection, obviously. Greetings, my child. I'm glad you decided to come here. He's so creepy. Yeah, but just so you know, I'm not here to join your church or anything. Oh, I would never assume that. Good. So, with that out of the way, I have some questions. Anything you need. I'm Isaac Price. Kathy. Kathy Rain, but I'm guessing you figured that out already. I did. Rumors spread quickly around here. So how can I be of service? The 
the orbs, when I look at the orbs, can we talk about that leaflet? Oh, it's gone! The leaflet is gone, even. Oh, dang it. Does he know something about the Father, flower? Father, do you know anything about this flower? Maybe he smokes it. Uh, no, my child. Nothing at all. He's lying. I don't need to show him that. <laughs> the orbs. I could, but I think I have more to gain from a subtle strategy. Yeah, 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 good. I'll keep it to myself for now, until I know more about this church. Okay, that's a good idea. I was hoping for that. Maybe he knows something about pennies? I don't need to show him that. <laughs> Ooh, the key. Do you know what this key opens? Maybe... Uh, I'm afraid not, my child. Oh, he knows. Dang it. Maybe we shouldn't have told him that we have it. Do you recognize the man in this picture, Isaac? Only your grandfather. And that's just because I was given a similar picture at the service the other day. What? By whom? Wait, what? Huh. Okay. Does he know who BH is? I don't need to show him that. I don't need to Cigarettes? show him that. We stun him. I sincerely doubt it will come to that. <laughs> we should, though. Okay. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? It was the work of the devil, I'll say that much. Joseph was a kind man. He did not deserve such a fate. You heard my speech at the funeral, Kathy. I meant every word. He was a great man who did much good for this community. Did you know him personally? In a way, he and my father did charity work together. Joseph was around a lot when I was young. They collaborated on a few different projects for the homeless and for the troubled youth, among other things. So my grandfather was a member of the church? I wouldn't say that, no. He was a friend of the church, but he wasn't a religious man. He believed only in philanthropy. That being said, Joseph was the person who convinced me to become a priest. Really? Oh, yes. I was a teenager back then. Full of rebellion, every fiber of my being wanting to distance myself from my father. Joseph made me realize my sinful pride and showed me how I should follow my heart, regardless of what others might think. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. I kind of doubt that, because if he wasn't a believer, he wouldn't recognize that as a sin at all. Because it's not. <laughs> I mean, that's weird. Does the name Lily Myers mean anything to you? It does. Before I was ordained, I was a substitute teacher in her high school. Really? Did you know her personally? We weren't close. I only knew her as much as a teacher would know any student. Alright, so... How did she seem toward the end? For one, she started skipping school. A lot. And when she did show up, she was absent-minded and moody. She always looked depressed and hunched down like she had the whole world on her shoulders. Any idea of what caused this change? Not a clue. All I know is, when she returned from that last summer break, she was a whole different person. Hmm. Do you know anyone who goes by the nickname Cocky? I have no idea. Sorry. Well, I can think of that Joseph Wade wanted somebody in charge of the church which then again is in charge of the people of the town because they influence them, who he can trust and who is loyal. And thus, he wanted to keep the line of, what was his name? Isaac, whatever, in charge of the church. <laughs> so he kind of manipulated that whole thing because the church obviously is uh, in with that weird stuff that's happening. And maybe for control reasons, he wanted something in there who is easily manipulated or something like that. So he kind of maybe like a puppeteer um, directed who's at which job, or at least in a, in a limited way. Maybe that's too strong of a comparison. But he tried at least to put people in charge who would keep things down. Because with that 
last sequence at night. I wonder if that's some kind of underworldly thing that they try to keep contained. What's your contained. opinion on Charles Wade? No opinion. He used to be a prominent figure around here, but he doesn't appear much in town these days. Actually, he's in the community clinic right now, getting medical treatment. Oh. I wonder if it's serious. Perhaps I should go talk to him. Even men like Charles Wade need a priest when they're nearing the end of the line. Even he didn't know it? Do you know anything about Lily Meyer's art? I saw a few pieces. Gorgeous work. Vibrant, surreal landscapes. When was this? Must have been mid-70s. High school had open days with an art exhibition. So, this was some time before she changed, right? You didn't see any of her later work? No. By then, she started skipping art class completely, from what I heard. Maybe she was afraid of what she might draw. I hear it was pretty twisted. Could be. But alas, I suppose we will never know what was truly haunting her. I'm doing my best to find out. I don't believe the story to be as clear-cut as everyone makes it out to be. An unusual theory. How so? People have taken a particular interest in her art. I think there's more to it. I wouldn't read too much into it, my child. It happens to all dead artists with any talent to speak of. See? They, they, he immediately tries to talk it down. To, to contain whatever secret there is to unveil. Care to tell me the history of the church? I'd be happy to. The story is a fascinating one. This church was founded by my father, William T. Price, uh, Price. in the 70s. Okay. Back then, he made his living as a traveling salesman and was driving through this area as he had done so, so many times before. However, this day was different. My father held dark thoughts in his mind. He was angry, thinking of evil deeds, even considering swerving off the road into a rock and ending it all. Then suddenly, divine intervention, three bright lights appeared. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the sign of God. This epiphany was the moment my father had been waiting for. He sold all of his belongings and took me and my brother to live with him here, in Conwell Springs. Soon thereafter, he built this church and started gathering followers. They began to refer to him as Father Bill. I take it that window up there resembles what he saw when he had this epiphany? Indeed. The stained glass window depicts the Holy Trinity, as witnessed by my father. Do you know exactly when or where this event took place? Why do you ask? Oh, just curious. It's a captivating story. Well, it was the spring of 1971, but my father never told anyone where. Okay, so what happened then? People flocked to Father Bill. He started teaching, writing scripture. The church flourished and continued to grow all the way up until his sudden death in 1983. That's when I stepped in to take leadership of the church. I take it that the church started declining after the death of Father Bill? Uh, yes, naturally so. With such a magnetic personality, he was irreplaceable. But I assure you, the church is still very much thriving. Looks kind of empty to me. It's not really our peak hours. What's up with you handing out pamphlets at funerals then? Trying to reel people in at a weak moment? I'm going to assume you meant no disrespect, child. I'm simply providing divine guidance when it's needed the most. Maybe this isn't a church at all, but a cover-up? <laughs> the whole thing? The whole operation? That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Impressive window. There's no doubt about it, those are the smoky lights. Can I... A striking resemblance, to say the least. 
Is there anything else? Bibles? I really shouldn't. They might burn. <laughs> they might. Locked. Okay. Wouldn't have expected anything else. I sincerely doubt it will come to that. <laughs> Can we burn him? No, oh, no, no, I wouldn't. But we can show it. I don't need to show him okay. that. Okay. Interesting. So, is there anything else that I missed? Oh, yeah. It's an altar. You know, the place where they put the sacrificed goats, kids, and other crap. <laughs> yeah, right. The pro life religion does that. Did that. I mean, they don't do anymore. But they are the ones who did that. Okay. Awesome. Oh, right. Yeah, we have to go somewhere. I thought I could end the episode here. Let's go to the clinic now. And there I will end the episode. We learned a lot. Oh, there's the bum. Yes. It's him. <laughs> he's grinning. Well, uh, oh, I think he's grinning. I guess uh, that's it then for today. We had quite an adventure. Don't go in there yet. And uh, in the next one, we will, I guess, see Charles Wade. Maybe if they let us in. I, I doubt it, but we'll find a way, I'm pretty sure. The 24-7 seems to be a lie. Maybe it's 24-7 closed and not opened. So that's that for today. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.